Hi, I'm Sarah Marriott. I am a PhD student at George Mason University, and I'm going to show you guys how to sort your larval samples that we collected from the field. So what we want to do first is make sure that everything that is on our sample gets transferred onto a piece of waterproof paper uh, with pencil so that we can then connect the samples from the field into the samples in the lab. And then that paper gets then put back in our little vials that we then fill about two thirds with uh, ethanol. And it's really important that we use ethanol because it helps preserve our fish and egg samples. And without it, those samples will disintegrate. Then after that, we are going to transfer our sample to a bucket. And these sample bottles have um, ethanol in them. So you wanna make sure that when we sieve it, uh, we're using a ethanol waste container. So just going to pour our sample in the strainer. Then we want to make sure that we get all the sample. So we just rinse it with some water and pour that back through, making sure that everything gets um, transferred into the sieve. After that, uh, we transfer it to this bucket just by tipping it over and using a water squirt bottle to make sure everything gets transferred. And then after that, we can go and sort. So now that we have our sample, we are going to look at it under the microscope. The first thing that we're gonna do is take a small scoop of our sample and put it into this plastic tray. Once we do that, we're gonna move it onto the scope and we wanna make sure that we're able to see very clearly through the lens. To do that, we use these two knobs. Uh, one will be a coarse focus and the other one will be a finer focus. And so you're gonna look through the lens and just turn the knobs until you're able to see the image of your sample clearly. What we're looking for are our eggs and fish samples. And you can see that your sample will have a lot of other things in it, such as insects and uh, flower pods and sometimes plastic as well. So right now we have come across a fish and what we're going to do is you're gonna use a set of tweezers to carefully pick the fish out of your dish and place it in our sample vial that has the ethanol in it. And you wanna be very sure that your eggs or fish don't stick onto the tweezers and that they actually end up in the vial. When we get to things like leaves, we want to make sure that we are turning the leaves over and very clearly checking to see if there are any hidden fish or eggs under these leaf particles. This one looks good. Eggs can be a challenge to identify and separate from other types of debris. So here we have an egg and it's very round and it's a little translucent. And so I'm gonna take that one and also very carefully put it in our ethanol vial. So after you complete one tray, you want to swirl the contents of your tray with your tweezers so that anything that might be hidden can become dislodged. And just repeat the process again, looking at each individual grid and searching for your fish larva and eggs such as this guy. Uh, what you're looking for when you are looking for your larval fish are organisms that have the, a head and this tail and a yolk sac. Uh, and that helps separate them from things like insects which have these segmented bodies. 
Something else you might come across are these plankton, and um, this is not a fish. It, it has multiple limbs. Additionally, you might have uh, mites, which are round-bodied and have lots of legs coming off of them. And those can sometimes be confused for fish eggs, but they are not. After you are done sorting your sample, this will be your final product. You're going to cap your vial full of your fish eggs and larvae, and you're going to deliver it to George Mason University for identifying the individual fish.